Hello everyone, this is our 2020 for our 812 Superfast. Please forgive me for the wind. It is a pretty windy day here. This 812 Superfast has 2,997 miles and is in fantastic shape. Paint looks beautiful, has tons of metallic flake in it. The entire car is clear broad as well paint protection film over the entire car. The front end is virtually in perfect condition. I don't see a single rock chip or anything. Front driver's side fender area looks phenomenal. As you can tell, it's basically looking into a mirror. Driver's side mirror looks perfect. No marks. Matte silver on the front wheels. Or I guess all the wheels, but this uh, the front wheel looks fantastic. No issues. Carbon ceramic brakes. Massive rotors and calipers. Driver's side door. No flaws. Driver's side rear quarter panel. No issues there. Rear driver's side wheel. No issues, looks good. Walking around to the back, we have a huge rear diffuser. Very aggressive offset quad exit exhaust with matte black tips. Just looks really, really fierce. I love the back end of these cars. They're uh, very unique and you know exactly what it is when you look at it. Backup camera, rear parking sensors. Passenger side rear quarter panel. No flaws in the paint anywhere. Rear passenger wheel. Looks excellent. Passenger door. Looks great, no flaws. Passenger mirror. Perfect front passenger fender. Looks phenomenal. And the front passenger wheel, again, no issues. This car has been taken very, very good care of. I'll go ahead and walk around the car from a one foot distance to give you a better big picture idea of the overall condition of the quality of the car. Here at Exotic Motorsports, we do these comprehensive walk around videos to give our out of state buyers the confidence and peace of mind they need to purchase a vehicle from us, sight unseen if they choose to do so. Walking around a vehicle from a one foot distance is a lot more indicative of what you might notice on a day to day basis and helps to separate the larger, more obvious flaws from the smaller, less significant ones, helping to give you a better, well rounded perspective of the overall condition of the vehicle. Super, super clean, 812 super fast. Very well taken care of, no flaws in the exterior. And it's all been clear broad, so you don't really have to worry about rock chips or anything like that. This paint will remain in excellent condition for a very long time. Here on the interior, do have very nice leather door panels with yellow contrast stitching. Power folding mirrors. Yellow contrast stitching in the rest of the interior as well as yellow seat belts, which ties in with the yellow brake calipers and center caps. I love the uh, subtle yellow accents. Looks really, really good. Carbon steering wheel. Yellow stitching even on the floor mats. Push button start. Do have navigation as well as a speedometer and then there's all kinds of other data as well that you have access to. That check engine light is just part of the startup procedure and does go off as it has currently. Uh, there in the odometer you can see we're at 2,997 miles. Steering wheel has all kinds of things incorporated into it in typical Ferrari fashion. You have your turn signals, your headlights, 
fog lights, suspension dampening, Bluetooth controls, driving modes, windshield wipers, wiper interval speed. All that good stuff is incorporated. You have these dials for your right infotainment screen, which will have your radio, nav, things like that. And then you have the controls on the left here for your left screen, which is all performance data. Auto dimming frameless rear view mirror with universal garage door remotes. Your different driving controls there. Climate controls there in the center. Two window switches. These seats are incredibly nice. They look very minimalist and very uncomfortable, but I assure you they are surprisingly comfortable. Uh, there's not a lot of padding in it, but just the way that it contours to your body feels really, really nice. And that's coming from a guy who has a super messed up back. Most race cars like this um, just absolutely give me a horrible time getting in and out of them, sitting in them for extended periods of time. But the way that these seats contour with your body, it's actually really comfortable. It feels really nice. And then, of course, twilight sensing headlights. You have your headlight options down there as well. I think these are just your high beams. Yeah, these are just high beams. And also, the car sounds phenomenal. I'll go ahead and blip the throttle a couple times. Oh, 6.5 liter V12 paired with a seven speed dual clutch transmission. I absolutely hate that about this car. It will yell at you if you get out of the car while it's running. It does not like that. So here's our 6.5 liter V12. Absolute monster of an engine. One of the very few front engine Ferrari cars giving it a very unique driving experience. It sounds absolutely incredible has probably one of the most responsive transmissions I think I've ever uh, had the privilege of using throughout my life. Dare I say it might even be a step above um, Audi's dual clutch or Porsche's PDK. It might be even more responsive than those. It will give you the gear, so to say, whenever you ask for it. So if you downshift, it won't you know, do anything weird and not downshift, it will give you the gear no matter what. And that's something that I really like in a, uh, a transmission. Idle's incredibly smooth, sounds really, really tame. Um, just a really streetable, nice driving experience until you put it in race mode, until you put the pedal down. Um, this is a really smooth, comfortable car, especially in auto. I really like the shift points and kind of how the car behaves in auto. Um, it's really a super, super tame car until you put it in race until you you know manually shift it and really get into it um, this car is not something that will easily get away from you unless you kind of make it do that so that is our 2020 ferrari 812 super fast if you have any further questions please feel free to check out the sales listing on our website which you can find at exoticmotorsportsok.com thank you for watching